Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Christy, and today I want to show you how Esri and ServiceNow work better together to make it easy for you to get work done efficiently, all through a map view. So here I am logged into my ServiceNow instance, and furthermore, I am on my map directory page. I have a variety of maps displaying here for me. Now you might have that as well, because you might have different maps for different groups, such as Parks and Rec and Public Works. Now those different groups might share assets, but they might have some of their own assets and want them displayed differently in their maps. So let's go ahead and start by drilling into this Las Vegas property management map. Notice right away when I drill into it, the map loads with all the assets that matter to me, including the Bellagio Hotel. I can quickly zoom in and zoom out to get a better picture of what I'm looking for. I can search. I can even change the way this map is displayed to me. Every asset on this page is currently rolling up to the Las Vegas property management. When I go ahead and click the arrow to see what's all rolling up to it, I see the variety of layers within the map, all the way down to the sewer lines. Within each layer, I can tell the map what I wanna see and not see. Notice when I said I don't wanna see the lines 3D, which included my sewer lines, those yellow lines disappeared from my map. This makes it easier for me to focus on what I need to focus on to get work done, such as my fountains. If I go ahead and drill into my fountains to see the layers that I'm bringing over for these fountains, maybe I wanna focus in on my non-operable ones. When I click non-operable devices, the fountains that are not operated right now are highlighted for me. Now, I do wanna give a quick note here is that this is just an example. You can configure these layers to match your business needs so that you can get work done quickly and efficiently all through this map view. Well, I'm looking at the map view, and now even further, I'm looking at my non-operable fountains. I can actually drill into a fountain to get more information. So when I drill in, I'm provided a bunch of quick actions, which again, configurable to match your business needs. But right away, I can create work orders. And when I do that, I'm not leaving the map view but I am being prompted to fill out a ServiceNow form that's completely configurable so that you're giving it the information that you need in order to get this work order to the right person, the right time, and get it resolved as quick as possible. And any information from the item I drilled into can be carried over to this work order, making it quick and easy to fill out. Next, if I want more information on this item, I can just drill into view the item. And again, without ever leaving the map, now I have full visibility in, into this fountain, including any data that we are storing and capturing and retaining that matters to our company, including downstream and upstream relationships. These are important because my fountain might be impacting other areas that I need to be aware of and make sure that everything is still running, even though my fountain isn't operable. And I can see any current and past history related to this item. So I do see I have a current open work order, which makes sense since it's not in operation. But if I had other work orders in the past, I could start to see that this fountain is failing more than my other fountains. And maybe there's a reason. 
I can drill into that work order to get any more information. I can send notes to the technician and the technician can actually provide me with attached photos of what he's seeing in the field. So we can work together without us actually being together. And I can work from my map view without ever leaving it. So when I'm done doing my work order, the last thing I want to show you is this CMDB widget. This is just one more place I can go to see my items in a variety of ways, including a diagram of their relationship. I can zoom in, zoom out, I can move it around, and I can change it to show all my items or I can narrow it down to specific items that I really wanna see so that I can see what else is impacted. And now I know I said that was the last thing, but I did wanna go back to the map directory and just show you quickly one more map. Notice as I drill into this map, it's bringing in different information and displaying it in a very different way than what we just saw. So I'm showing you this to show you how robust the solution can be to match your business needs. And with that, I would like to thank you for joining me today. And please feel free to reach out to me with any additional questions you may have.